Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tiabu and I am here for another new show. It's Fairy Gone. So, looking at, at the sort of stats card of the show going in, uh, this is a PA work show with an original story by Ao Jumanji, who also wrote slash created uh, Grimgar of Fantasy of At and blah 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 blah. Whatever, Grimgar thing, uh, which I haven't seen and I've heard mixed things about. And he's written a bunch of other manga that I've never heard of. It's directed by Kenichi Suzuki, who also directed Drifters, which I enjoyed, I guess. I didn't love it, but it was fun. Uh, and Sells at Work, which I have not seen, and he's got a slew of varied credits on JoJo's. So we'll see if any of that is recognizable. I kind of doubt it. But this is an original story, uh, original anime. PA Works. PA Works is an interesting studio. They come out with a lot of stuff that I really like. Um, Especially recently, they've they 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 have a, a rather distinct style, and when they can lean into it, it looks really good. Uh, Shirobako is one of my favorite shows of all time, and I I recently rewatched it and reaffirmed that it's absolutely one of my favorite shows of all time, and I, I love the style and production of it. Um, and I recently watched or rewatched uh, a portion of Charlotte as well. So I've seen a couple of PA work shows recently. We'll see what I pick up on as far as like similarities and things things being carried through i don't know exactly who's doing character design or what they've worked on before but that'll have a pretty big impact on how things look in any case i know nothing about the story um i assume there will be fairies of some kind promo art looks kind of dark haven't read the mal summary don't know what's don't know what we're dealing with uh the character designs kind of look like they're going for a sort of uh kind of realism like the world is crazy maybe but but the characters are kind of normal-ish people, uh, no crazy hair colors or anything like that. So maybe kind of a grounded, down-to-earth types type thing, or maybe they just thought that looked cool. I don't, I don't know. We'll see if this is any good. So I've got episode one up. It's at zero seconds. There will be multiple versions of this reaction video. You can find picture-in-picture -picture versions with the video up there in the description down there. And the timer-based version on YouTube, as usual, will have my full discussion at the end and any frame-by-framing -framing or run-through or whatever I do at the end. Uh, timer-based version will have a beep-beep timer. It'll go boop-boop-boop-beep, and on the beep in the green light, that's the same frame that Farygon starts playing on my screen. So if you're syncing up with your own version of the media, that's probably when you want to press the button. And that beep-beep timer will go here. Neat. Fanatica Cinquenge. Okay. Fairies, right? It's gotta be fairies. Uh, organs? Yeah, fairy soldiers. Okay. Just like a fairy over there. Okay. What is this this grainy filter that's over everything? It's kind of bleh. I guess this is a flashback. It must be. I hope. Okay, guess those are fairies. So, get wrecked, noob. Okay. Rip. Is 
Silly PA works. You're not ufotable. <laughs> Okay. Yay. Not not so yay. Still got the filter over everything. Maybe it's just the encoding. Choo choo. Is this the OP? That's pretty. What? This is the OP. CG as fuck! Okay. That was some PA works. Some of that cuteness. Both the OP and ED are done by the same band called No Name. Okay. Okay. Auction? Slaves? Something horrible? Or just goods. I think Shield Hero has broken me. I expected it to be slaves. <laughs> Didn't we, did we see an army of those? In the OP? Oh, is that a fairy? It's got to be a fairy. Or, no, it's a little doggy thing. We saw it on her shoulder in the intro. Okay.
So who is that blonde girl? Was she the blonde person in the war? Yeah, why is she being hired? What is she here for? What's her job at this auction? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. The who's a what? Yeah. Exposition, 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 exposition. Not that that's a bad thing, since this it makes sense. Hey, little rat doggy. No, you gotta, you gotta be sold. Come back. Okay. Is she the girl? She wants the note, the, the black fairy tome page. That's got to be the same girl. Now they're going to run into each other and have a moment. Is she already a fairy soldier. She seems to have some kind of power. Repercussions? Nope. We got stands. Sutando Bawa. So will our main character need to take a fairy into herself to, in order to fight the fairy girl? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Yep, definitely. And commercial. Was he the guy in the beginning? The ex-soldier? A little confused on the timeline. I guess I should have paid more attention when they put dates up. Oh, he's a fairy dude too. He's got a big wolfy thing, which is heavily featured in the OP.
Jesus. Yeah, I think I saw a couple of people get get shot. Hunting rifle time. Mm. Sorry, buddy. Ah. Oh. Time to get bit by a spider, Peter Parker. She can see them. Ah. Oh. Reach out to the fairy. She can see them. You're a fairy person now. Okay. So we get more context on this backstory. Maybe. Is that them? Yeah, that's them. Okay. So she's kind of a blonde female revenge driven Sasuke type. Okay. And time to meet your fairy. Hello, weird dog cat thing. It's cute as fuck, though. This soundtrack is interesting. So does he know her from the past as well, or is he just going off of what the other girl said?
This is building up to a hella rejection. Time to get your Pokemons out. Hey, we got a Pokemon. With firepower. Did they just choose to withdraw their fairies, or did it destroy them? What? So that places her as like a mediator type of character? Hmm. Hello, cute thing. Oh. Join the something squad? Yeah. Well, guess we got no choice. Let's go on lots of adventures. Hmm. Call me by name. There's still a good bit left. I think there's something after this. Hmm. Hmm. What are you fighting for, Ver? I guess a praiser Jesus. 
Okay. Who are you, appraiser Jesus? <laughs> All that for naught, huh? Oh, this is a preview. Okay. Back to the beginning. Cool. Hmm. Now I have to think about what I want to say about this show. So this is interesting. It seems to me that they're going for a somewhat... It's like, it's, it's a bunch of contradictions. It's grounded, but it also has superpowers of sorts. Um... It's it's gritty, but there are little bits of, of dialogue comedy. It's somewhat dark, but it feels lighthearted, partly because of the soundtrack. I don't really know how to feel about this first episode. It's not it's not getting the same like gung ho response that uh, episode of Kimetsu no Yaiba got from me, but I'm definitely intrigued by it. I think that that a lot of people are going to be turned off right off the bat just because of the fact that there's a lot of stuff in CG. I found the CG to be sometimes pretty well done and sometimes not so well done. There were some some pretty nice touches that we'll look at a little bit later, but I, I wanted to mention the CG right off the bat because it's there and it doesn't look terrible, uh, in my opinion. Some of it doesn't look super great, but it doesn't look terrible. And one of the things that that CG becomes really useful for is depicting things that are otherworldly or like weird um or or mechanical stuff uh because then then the 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 clean lines and the, the the shading and stuff doesn't look as jarring because it's like oh that's a weird thing it's very obvious when they're using cg in this show i i think but um i don't think it looks terrible the setting is kind of interesting um but kind of vague at the same time like i'm not sure if we're in sort of i, I guess we're in just a fantasy setting cuz we've got we've got guns and gunpowder but it seems that a lot of combat is done with the swords and people are wearing this sort of like i don't even know 1800s turn of the century ish type garb We've got top hats everywhere and everybody's in dresses and all the ladies have hats and this lady's got a tiny hat. It's almost like a the the steampunk time period setting, if you know what I mean. I, I don't know. So I'm not really sure when this is supposed to be as far as our timeline because they've got their own time system that comes up. So it's it's been about 20 years since this sequence occurred. Uh, cause we get a thing, yeah, UE four eighty one, and then later it's like five oh five or so. So our our main character, I guess, was a, f I don't know, relatively young child during this these events, and then has grown up. So, um, at first glance, I was pretty worried about about where this show is going, and there is one reason why, and that is because I didn't know that this was a flashback. I just wasn't sure. Uh, this grainy sort of sepia tone filter that they've got over literally everything throughout the course of this flashback, I do not like. I, I do not like it at all. It's, it's still there even over the fire and stuff. It's, it's, blech, blech, blech. It's gross. It stays here this whole time. But the whole point of this flashback is to set up a connection between main character girl and, and blonde friend girl which they'll then explore later. And we also do double duty in terms of setting up this guy, Mr. Free, who throws his sword angrily. Whoosh. Whoosh. Pow. Okay. Uh, and then he's got this blonde friend who seems to be a guy and is probably evil. Just guessing. Don't know where he went. We go from one person walking to another person walking, and a train. All in all, these first couple of minutes were boring. But that's okay, because then we jump right into the OP. I guess they really felt the need to do all of this exposition to tell us about 
this world I guess it works. It could be it could be a lot worse. The OP looks pretty neat. There were a few things in here that I'd kind of want to look at in greater detail. Berries and stuff. Her eye looked really good. I remember her eye looking super... Yeah. Yeah, that looks really good. That's a lot of layers. And then we get this stuff being drawn onto canvas type looking thing. And then we go straight into CG of fairy things. So it's like a fire lady. It's like a fire nun. And he's got like a... An anger wolf and, and stuff, I guess. Oh, uh, highlight of the show is definitely this little creature. I don't know why, but it's cute as fuck. I, I love it. And also, this cut of her face is the most PA Works looking thing in the show. Ah, I just closed it. I'm an idiot. Hello? Hello? No? Okay. Okay. Uh, where was it? Where was I? Doop, doop. DOP, great. Yeah, this is the most PA Works looking cut in the entire show so far. Yeah, yeah. Got a bunch of places that, that don't mean anything. Got some somewhat angsty walking. Some interesting effects on the, some of the line work in the, the, the OP. Like these red lines here on his uh, shirt thing, and then the, the light blue lines over here. It's an interesting, interesting style. CG fairy things. Uh, a, a classic spinning around the, the, the action action scene. Yeah, all of these soldiers seem to be wearing the same or at least similar armor to the set of armor that she found in the place. Okay. Then we see the, the big wolf fairy come in and tear some guys up. She's shooting some bullets. Again, we've got that, that colored line work. Again, here it's light green, at least in some portions. And then over here it's black with an in, a, 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 like easy outline. Okay. Blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? All right, ash-covered girl, and we are in 505, so it's been 24 years or so, something like that. Got this auction going on, and we meet our main character. And she's pretty cute. I kind of like her design. And he's pretty cool. Kind of like his design, too. Their eyes look nice. Backgrounds look pretty decent. Actually, the backgrounds mostly look really good. This little fox rat thing is super cute. I really love it. Definitely the highlight of the show. Not sure how I feel about the fairies. Uh, especially when they're out in fighting combat -y form. Also, um, in, in this whole scene where they're talking, I was actually, I, I have a note down to complain about this because it feels like there's, there's something off, um, in the atmosphere. And while their, their, their banter has a nice pace to it, which is helped, I think, by the music. Yeah, there's this, this constant sort of like lo-fi hip hop beat going on behind them, uh, which gives like a, a bounce to their, to their conversation. But it felt like there was something a little bit off, and I wasn't sure why. I, I thought this might have been a more, like, this is supposed to be kind of a fun moment where our two main characters, I'm assuming, end up meeting each other and conversing for the first time. But uh, I'm not going to complain about that, because later we find out that he's undercover, so that there would be some weird, unexplained tension in the room as they're talking kind of makes a lot of sense. So maybe it's just something... Intended. I'll give him benefit of the doubt and say it's intended. In any case, little fox thing gets away, and suddenly, 
suddenly, Veronica's here. And she's scary, and she's got fairy powers. And it, a really scary fairy, which looks like that. Looks kind of like, um, triangle head. Pyramid head? Pyramid head? Yeah, pyramid head. Not triangle head, that's stupid. Um, <clears throat> triangle head. Thur. Uh, it kind of looks like pyramid head. It's got, it's got spooky vibes. Everybody freaks out. He goes and fights it. Uh, the fight scenes are... <laughs> I've seen much worse CG fight scenes. So that's cool. I think all of these chairs are CG. There's a scene where he... Yeah, he runs into some chairs. Flying backward. Hit some chairs. And they explode like CG chairs. Yeah. Okay. She's elated to have found her friend, but but lots of conflicting emotions. And Veronica is kind of like uh driven by revenge and like you want to save me, but no, I don't want to be saved. Uh, I I there, there, I have things I have to do and stuff type of character, I think. Um and I assume that's who she is going forward. We'll see if there's a little bit more meat to that development, but because they had limited time in the first episode, having to get all of this done, do a bunch of exposition on fairies in the world and how everything works, but not really even telling us a lot of that. And then like have our characters meet and set up this auction as a thing. And yeah, there was a lot of stuff to do. Have our, our, our Peter Parker character get bitten by her spider all of that stuff. Yeah, he's got this big, wolfy thing. She just looks at it like, huh? Poggers. Yeah. Uh, big CG action. With some traditional effects. Uh, the, 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 the CG fairy things... Don't really feel like they fit this world, but that could be part of the point, and so it's okay. Uh, this running scene is kind of janky. I don't know if it's just because we've got this scrolling thing in front of them, or what, but it's kind of janky. You know? Eh. Okay, and then we get uh, 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 Chekhov's. Is it Chekhov? Chekhov's gun? Chekhov's gun. Yep. Yeah, we've got Chekhov's fairies hanging on the wall. Or on the ceiling, in this case. So, something's gonna happen. One of them gets knocked over. Peter Parker character gets bitten by her spider. Well, first she sees it. That's a, a major question, though. Uh, he said very clearly that fairies, when they're out of a fairy bottle, are not visible to the human eye. Why can she see this fairy? Is she special? Does she have some kind of special thing that makes her more special than other fairy users? I don't know. No. Oop, you're a fairy now. Come back by midnight. All right, and then we get a flashback, which actually doesn't really give us much more of any substance about this, except for showing that Ver is very angry and wants a revenge type thing. And you've got a fairy now. Also a little furry cute fox friend. This is also a very PA Works feeling cut. CG fight. Janky frame rates. Yay! Hmm. 
I can't tell if they're using frame skipping or not. Just because I don't know enough to know. Actually, wait. Huh, I think they are. During those those high movement scenes. Yeah. I think they are. Boom. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And gone. And then here. Moving every three frames still. I feel like they did. Okay. But I don't know what I'm talking about in that regard, in terms of like making 3D animation look like it's 2D. Um, I don't know enough to know. Looks pretty okay, though. She's got this sort of, you'll never understand how I feel kind of vibe around her. Vera does. Marlia is kind of generically kind of wanting to save her, I guess. Not sure. Got weird fire powers. So fairies are stands. Basically. But they're kind of cool. And they meet, and they talk, and the truth comes out, and he's not actually part of the thing with the thing. He's a policey typey dude, and she is forced to join against her will because now she can use fairies, and so she's got to got to become a policey typey dude to be on the right side of the law. Okay. You get a handshake in front of a sunrise or a sunset. Not sure. Okay. Still not sure how to feel about it, even after going through it all over again. Oh, soundtrack. I want to talk about soundtrack. Um, so they seem to have gone for this, this like, rather heavy rock-style soundtrack. It actually reminds me a lot of, um, of Hunter Hunter, of all things. Uh, that, that, that kind of raucous, almost grungy, not grungy, uh, mm -hmm, almost gritty rock music. For a lot of the soundtrack and then some some like low-key piano tunes and then that lo-fi hip-hop that i was talking about so there's a big mix of things uh i found that that the soundtrack was a little weird when there were like drawn out action scenes and they just kept using the same like a large portion of the same song um or not like not like using the same song multiple times but like just playing one song for a long period of time does that make sense i, I hope that makes sense I found that a little bit weird, but the songs were pretty pretty good, and I think they matched the tone that they were going for, so that's probably why they went for it. All in all, this show looks kind of good and kind of terrible sometimes. Mostly good. Story's intriguing. The world is intriguing. It has some some interesting promise to it, but I get the feeling that it's probably going to turn out to be kind of disappointing ah uh, yeah that's not that's not like a guarantee or anything not even close i just get this feeling that that this show is going to paint by numbers somewhere in the middle to the end section and it's gonna end up disappointing so i'm not super excited by this first episode Hmm. I'll probably watch episode two and see where it's going from here. But I'm not super thrilled by the show. I don't super hate it either. It's it seems okay. And like I would definitely be willing to watch this. But I think I might want to binge it. And just, like, put it on for however many hours it actually will be. Because I don't know how many episodes it's supposed to be. Yeah, unknown episodes. So, 
I don't know if it's a one core or multiple cores or or what, but it's probably something that I'd be willing to binge. I don't know if it's something that I'd be looking forward to watching weekly, though. But we'll see post-episode two whether my mind has changed about that. Well, I think that's everything I've got. Character designs are pretty good. Overall design and direction is pretty good. CG's a little wonky, but if you can get over that, it uh, this will probably have some fun moments throughout the show. And it could just get better and better. I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap it up. I've been Tiaboo. This has been Fairy Gone, Episode 1. I hope you've enjoyed it as much or more than I have, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.